Welcome to the second day of racing at the RC44 Portachevo Cup. Being fast is not the only thing to win you races in the RC44 fleet. Speed has to be combined with quick thinking and fast decision making if you want to be first to the finish line. So on uh, Team Sharif, I'm the tactician on the boat. Uh, my role is uh, in some ways to coach the helmsman of the boat, the skipper, to make sure he sails the boat as best we can. And, uh, and then I'm also trying to put the boat in the best position to, to utilize the breeze, uh, keeping our position in the fleet, making sure we get off the start line. So in the RC44, you're sort of coaching, uh, you're, the tactician is also a coaching role to the owner. So uh, quite a lot to do, but uh, it's good because the more you can coach, the more you can communicate with the owner, then uh, the more he can do what you hopefully want to happen, so it all sort of takes shape. Having world-class tacticians alongside them is vital for owner drivers if they want to do well in this elite high-performance sport. 2016 RC44 world champion Igor La had no previous sailing experience before he first got on his RC44 yacht. You know, it was the first time I, I was sailing with uh, Jimmy Spithill. He was my first tactician and, uh, you know, I was the first time even sailing and uh, it was 20 knots of wind and uh, going downwind I approached two times. So I learned that it's a little bit, not just fun, but it's also a little bit dangerous. <laughs> so, but I learned my lesson. Eagle Law and his team C-Ref did enough today winning the first race to ultimately remain in second place, still two points off the lead. Alexander Novoselov and Katusha had the best day, winning race two and now lead the RC44 Portachevo Cup at its halfway stage. Peninsula Petroleum has dropped to third, but with only six points separating the top six teams and a big day ahead, we can expect further significant changes to the results tomorrow.